guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Dylan. Today I'm gonna to take you through a tennis specific warm up. What does a warm up entail? It's gonna start with movement as the first part, dynamic stretches, followed by muscular activation with bands, and then finally, tennis specific movement. And the reason why do you do a tennis specific warm up is to help prepare the body best for training and matches, and to also help reduce the chance of getting injured. So stay tuned, it's gonna be around 10 to 15 minutes long. For each of these movement exercises, you're gonna do it twice, and you're gonna go at nice steady speed, progressing in intensity. When doing the movement part of the warm up, I like to do between five to eight different exercises, moving forwards and backwards, as well as laterally. I try to focus on the lateral part of the movement and staying low and keeping my wide base as tennis is 70% lateral movement. I'm a big fan of skipping when warming up. You're able to stay light on the balls of your feet while increasing the heart rate. I aim to do about five to eight different varieties of skipping techniques. Dynamic stretch is a more functional movement rather than a static stretch. So this should be related just before you do your workouts and static stretches should be post-workout. Here are an example of a few dynamic stretches. Key aspects of the dynamic warm-up that I try to incorporate are the rotational aspects as this is very tennis specific. Now it's time for the muscular activation work. This is with two different sets of bands. The first band is going to be for the lower half of the body, and these are the loop bands. And the second is going to be for the upper body. This is going to be the pull-up bands. This is great for firing up the nervous system and also increasing flexibility as well and muscle activation before doing the more tennis-specific movement exercises. I personally love using resistance bands as they provide an extra added tension when warming up, helping to activate the muscles. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check them out. Geez Fitness. I highly recommend that you do upper body warm up exercises. Some of these exercises that I'm doing now are incorporated in a lot of the pros warm up program.
So guys, this is the final part of the warm up and this is where you're gonna use your racket. You can do this on or off the tennis court and this is gonna be a lot of functional tennis specific movements. The tennis specific movement should be done at a near to full intensity as your body wants to be in a state of where it's sweating just before you strike your first ball. So that's it guys, four components that you should incorporate into your warm up before training or playing matches on the tennis court. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment, it really helps my channel to grow. And thank you for watching, videos will come out every single week. Stay tuned.